Hello! Continuing on my Frankenswood series, I wanted to bring another combination to your attention. So let's say you're a fan of Gateron and wanted to do something along the lines of a BCP. You might like these. The Cthulhu's. I, I haven't desoldered them yet, I'll, I'll get to that in a bit. But this is a linear Frankenswitch, and traditionally are made of an ink bottom and spring, cream stem, and milky top. This personally is my second favorite go-to Frankenswitch, since it's deeper sounding than the BCP, and in some variations can even be smoother. Now, there aren't really a lot of ink bottoms to choose from, and I only have the 8008 ink bottoms, but that doesn't mean we can't change the other two parts. Going top down, there are two different type of tops we could potentially use. The Gateron Milky Top, and the JWK Milky Top off of a switch like the OP Blacks. Albeit they're both the same material and concept, but in terms of sound, I think they're just slightly different enough to be distinct. In terms of stems, this is where things can get pretty wild. I can't make every variation with a long pole stem, uh, but the ones I have on hand, and more importantly, readily available for me to harvest, are the Kingfisher, the Cream, Tungsten, Giant V5, Cow Unwipe, and Cow Palm. Sadly, no Husky or Zaku stems available for me to harvest at the moment, since they're all currently soldered in switches. In terms of the smoothness of the stems that I've tried for the bottom housings, Tungstens were the smoothest, then comes a Cow Unwipe, then the Kingfisher, Giant V5, Creams, and the Cow Palms, surprisingly, are not very smooth in ink bottoms. Could be my batch, but uh, your mileage may vary. I'll play a sound test of all the different variations, and you can let me know which one is your favorite. All these will be done in my Vega with the plate foam and both layers of case foam on a palm plate. Thanks, have a good one. <laughs> 